Hello my Sparkins, PK Sparks the Hot is here. Welcome to Fire Emblem Awakening for Nintendo 3DS. Recently released back in March. This game is amazing. It has sucked 100 hours of my life so far and will suck many more to come. It... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just said that. I just said that. But yes, this game is absolutely fantastic. I cannot stop raving about how much I love Fight and the Awakening. Um, there's so much to the story. There's so much to the gameplay. And the worst part about it is that when I first began, I mean, when I first got this game, I only got it as a suggestion. I honestly did not even want the game. I had no interest in it, and I am so happy and so pleased that I was proven wrong because this game is incredible in so many ways, in terms of story, in terms of gameplay, in terms of the, um, the fighting and stances and the classes and how, how intriguing and fulfilling and Everything is just fantastic about this game, and I have been waiting to bring this game to you guys for a long time. This template I worked on was actually something I worked on because I just wanted to bring you guys this. So, um, shout out to Johnny Awesome and Soul Silver 79 for their input for to make this background as amazing as it is. So, make sure you guys go check the channel out and tell them thank you for making this amazing layout. But without further ado, let's go on and hit A, get back to the title screen, and begin our story. It's Awakening the Fire Emblem. Or so you would think by the title. This is it. Our final battle. Alright, that wasn't really anything really important. But, what I do want to let you guys know is that I will not voice act any characters. Only a few lines are actually spoken. A lot of characters don't really have much detail uh, when they talk, but I decided against voice acting for the sheer fact that after playing this game, I feel as though any voice acting I attempted to do would not um, suffice to you know give the proper type of feel that this game deserves. It's a great game in its own right, and I really, in all honesty, just don't want to butcher it. So I decided against you know with my best wishes, well, with my well sense, whatever you want to say, but um, against fighting, um, not fighting, but voice acting, because I feel as though the game does a great self for itself already. I will allow you guys time to actually read the dialogue, and I won't speak over it like I am now, because this is just the beginning, that's why I'm just describing it to you. But I won't do that, but know that, um, in the end, um, I just won't be voice acting, and I, like I said, I just decided against it, and there's pretty much nothing you can say that can possibly change my mind, not to, you know, sound rude or anything. Right now, we are fighting Validar. This is one of those battles where we have to win. If we don't win, then uh, pretty much game over. Uh, I, don't, I don't even think it's really possible for us to lose, in, like just the way that it, it'll fight, especially since he doesn't attack us. One thing that's really important I want to say is that uh, both your avatar, which is our first for the Fire Emblem series, I might add, and I hope they continue this series, this uh, idea of having an avatar in the army as well, called your unit. But um, I hope they uh, include it. But anyway... Um, what was I going to say? Right, if either your avatar or Krom dies, instant game over. Right now, I am playing on hard casual. That way, um, because this this playthrough isn't meant, for, you know, for real story or anything. It's more or less meant to just get you guys through the, the main story of it, so to speak. Um, not as, you know, so much strategy or whatnot, but I'm playing on the hard, so that way while I am playing, it'll at least be interesting and maybe we'll have some teeth gritting moments. We'll see what happens. Right now, we're going to finish Valador off with a well-timed throw-out attack by our level 20 tactician, PK Spizox. Without further ado, let's go on an attack. There. 
One thing I want to say is that if you guys don't like the animated battle scenes, they can be easily turned off. What it will do is actually make the overall gameplay a lot faster, but it won't be as entertaining to watch, so to speak. Um, so just let me guys know, let me know in the comments below, do you guys want those animated battle scenes on? Or would you rather if I just turn them off and it will just be like an overworld map, just them nudging towards each other and attacking? Let me know in the comments below and I will definitely in include it in future episodes. You all right? That's the end of him. Thanks to you, we carried the day. We can rest easy now. At long last. This is not your... your fault. Promise me you'll escape from this place. Please, go. do something what do you propose we do uh, I don't know <sighs> I see you're awake now hey there <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground you know <laughs> give me your hand Thank you, Krom. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Um. What? Hmm. Explain. Um. Hmm. Right.
Yeah. Really? And with that, we're finally given control of all four main characters. Us, Crom, Frederick, and Lissa. Now, I want to explain something to you guys. So uh, if you could just direct your attention to the bottom right screen, I will show you guys something. Right now, if you guys see right below her, Lissa's name, you see Cleric. Um, I'll tap on it right now. Uh, well, that's her name. There we go. It's highlighting. A female healer who uses staves cannot attack. This is a class. Mind you, this is going to be a tutorial episode because it's the prologue, so I apologize. But, um, this is the, um, that means that she cannot attack, but she is our primary healer. If you played Pokemon before, which I'm pretty sure most of you have, or at least know of Pokemon, think of Cleric as a basic stage Pokemon. And you can level up to a Trubadur, a Valkyrie, or whatnot, and that is essentially an evolution. And this game is called the Class Change, because right now her class is a Cleric, Frederick is a Great, great Knight, Krom is a lord, and P.K. Sparks, us, is a tactician. This is our base classes, and there are advanced classes as well, or an, uh, an evolution, so to speak. Uh, we will be able to change our classes when we reach level 10, anywhere between level 10 and level 20. Level 20 is the max level you can reach. When you reach level 20, you gain no more experience, and you're pretty much forced to change a class, or go back to level 1 of the class that you are right now, using a certain item that we'll get later on in the game. Um, once you become level 20, that's basically the max, and you can change your, um, your class. And each class has their own di different types of stats, items they can use, abilities, and even more. Like, abilities are right here in the bottom right corner. As you guys see right now, for us, it says, I'm trying to show you, there you go. Veteran, grants the unit 50 more experience points while paired with another unit. So we're going to be using that more often. It's a pretty, pretty good ability to have in the early parts of the game. Um... Right now, uh, Frederick is already in advanced class, which is a great knight. So, as you guys can see, compared to everybody else, he has advanced attack. Uh, she doesn't have any attack, and her stats are all single letter. We have, uh, we have a, no, actually we're all singled as well, but, you know, we're at least higher singles. And him, he has a few doubles, he is really strong, and not to mention, his, uh, in the bottom left corner, we're right down here, these are his weapon for proficiencies. Uh, what proficiency, proficiency means that how skilled you are with a weapon and the higher grade you are the more stronger weapons you can use The weapon proficiency goes from a grade E to a grade A with E being the lowest and A being the highest So right now his most uh, his most proficient weapon is a lance But we can use an axe and a sword as well right now Kron can only use a sword and we're lucky enough to have a sword and a tome, which is basically a magic attack. As you guys can see, we have thunder, which um 
has a thunder attack. There's a lot to explain in this uh, game. I'm not going to go too far into it, but this is just the basics that you're going to be using during gameplay. So I wanted to get this out the way. That way, while we're playing, you guys don't have too many questions to have. But if you're like me, you learn better from actually doing than being explained to. So without further ado, let's go on and get to um, fighting these guys. Right now, our goal is to take out, if you look at the bottom right corner, it says Rout the Enemy. Or Root, whichever one, however you pronounce it. But it basically means defeat all enemies on the screen. Sometimes the challenge is just defeat the commander. Um, I like the root one better because it just provides more of a challenge, but you know, whatever. So without further ado, let's finally get into tackling these guys. We're going to pair Kron with us because he is a freaking husky. Um, and, you know, whatever. We're going to have Frederick by himself because he's husky by himself. And Alyssa we're going to have in the background. That way she can just heal us whenever we need to. We're going to be healing more as often as possible because that's the only way for Alyssa to get any type of experience right now is by using her staff to heal. So without, without that, she wouldn't gain any experience. Right now, we're going to attack this guy and see how much damage we can do. Let's actually switch to Kron. Maybe he can do more damage. And he can with the Falchion. Although the Rapier has a more uh, accuracy. Let me explain this to you guys as well. Right now, we have Attack, Hit, and Critical. Hit is your accuracy. If it's 100%, you're guaranteed to hit. Right now, he has a two, the, our enemy has a 2% chance of missing. While if we use the Falchion, we'll have an 8% chance of missing. Uh, with the critical hit, that's your chance of getting a critical hit. It does three times the damage. So if we get a critical hit, we'll do three, 36 damage instead of just 12. With the rapier, that is. Uh, if we get a critical hit. Uh, so we're going to use the rapier to go with Kron. And without further ado. Let's go. And in fact, someone is hurt. However, you want to be careful with how you attack because if you are not careful and, you know, this can just get destroyed because of how weak she is. Not to mention she can't even defend herself right now. So she's really necessary for being tactical in order of healing with her. So just be very, very careful when you're playing with Lissa because, you know, you can lose her in a heartbeat. Uh, right now, that is. You, later on, you'll be able to um, heal with her and do whatever you need to. And, um, whatever. Right now, we really just want to, uh, be careful. So, without further ado, let's see what they're going to do. They're attacking Krom. That's not good, but luckily he has a hit of 59. Although he's still hit, but we didn't critical hit. Can't... See, the thing about pairing is that when you're paired up with somebody, um, it has a higher chance of, like, I, right now I just granted Krom a plus hit of 10. So, if I had 90 hit... That it would have been raised to 100, so I would have been guaranteed a hit. Um, so that's why stuff like that is important to know. Uh, it's, like I said, there's a lot to this game, but you guys, you guys should learn everything as you just play the game. But I still do hope that I explained everything to you guys in a manner that's actually understandable for you. Uh, we're going to go over here. Right now, that glowing spot is an item. Either an item, you get a chance to get weapon, weapon proficiency, which raises your, um, you know, your skill with a weapon. Or you'll gain experience. We're going to find out what we get. But right now, we're going to heal Krom. Because, like I said, if Krom or the Avatar dies, then it's an instant game over. You don't want that. Not to mention, it's a chance to give Listen some experience points. Elwood Blade, wow, that is a really good blade to get early on in the game. Um, if you guys look at the bottom of my screen, it's a C rank uh, weapon. Um, the MT, I'm not sure what it stands for to be honest with you, but I know that it's pretty, that's pretty much extra strength. The hit is 85 and it has a 5% chance of getting a critical hit. Um, the RNG is range, it means how far you can attack. I'll show you guys right now when we use the avatar. If we switch to us, we can only attack with the avatar because we're two spaces away, so we can only attack with a weapon that's two spaces away. While if we get closer, which is one space away, we can attack him, well let me go to our avatar again. We can attack him with the sword or the um, thunder. So it's pretty much pick and choose. Right now we're going to give ourselves some experience, so without further ado. See, right there is what happens when you build a relationship between characters. They're they're more likely to uh, assist you in battle. They raise your stats and whatnot. It's a really useful 
um, tactic to use. So if you can, any opportunity you have, I would suggest doing that. Build uh, relationships between characters. And um, depending on what characters, only certain characters can pair with other, certain char other characters. Not everybody can just pair with anybody. You have to be really careful, and you can find out, find out more about that in the support menu. But um, most, ki most characters, well, your avatar can pair with any character. Because, you know, you're the avatar, you're just OP like that. While, the, um, while there are certain characters that can only pair with one character, which is you, there are some characters that can only pair with a few, and there's some that can only pair with a lot. It really just depends on who you use. One thing I should mention is that this LP would not, will not um, feature... I was hoping for that he wouldn't get a critical hit, but I am really low on HP, so I need to make sure I take you guys out now. Um... What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, the thing about this LP is that I'm not going to be going through the paralogs, like, you know, the side stories. I'm just going to be going through the main 25 chapters. However, if this LP does get a lot of attention and you guys demand it, and I, when I say demand, I mean, like, I'm expecting, like, a whole bunch of people saying, I want this right now. We want all to do it and get, like, a whole bunch of likes and views and whatnot. Then I I have no problem um, after the main story, go to the paralogue, show you guys the different characters you can unlock, etc., etc. So, um, like I said, if you guys want it, it just matters on how much support this LP gets. Right now, we're going to use the... Eh, let's use Faustion. Why not? Let's not use um if you use any other most weapons have like a usage thing and the more time you use it then you know you lose a point and eventually the weapon will just break i don't know if that's been in another game but that's how it is in this game so i'm going to go right here i'm going to attack this guy with, the, with frederick who is pretty much op and is slaughtering everybody who he comes in contact with it's pretty it's pretty awesome i have to say i want to get a critical hit and i can't wait to show you guys the critical hit but right now we're actually almost done with this battle so uh, we're gonna go move. Actually, no. Yeah, we're gonna move forward. We're gonna move. Yes, yes. Uh, what? Hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay, that was basically telling what you guys can do. Um, everything that the avatar is saying that you can, that he can do magically or whatever, is everything that you can do. Remember, you are the avatar. So if he's speaking, you need to pay attention because he can do a lot. And then by that, I mean you can do a lot. Um, we're gonna heal ourselves one more time just to give Lisa some more experience points because, like I said, she really needs experience. We need to level her up ASAP so we we can change her class when we when we get the ability to. As well as having her with a high staff means that she can use some really powerful spells. So, it's basically win win every single way. As you guys can see... As you guys can see, Frederick is pretty OP. I mean, I sent him in the air, he just decimated the guy, Garrick, without any problem. Even when he attacked, he took no damage just because Frederick is just that strong right now. Now, granted, in reality, like, you know, when you think about how the rest of the game is going to go, he's not really strong, but as you where you are right now, Frederick is your man. If you feel like you have a whole bunch of enemies you need to handle and not much to do with, send Frederick out there, he will just attack everybody, or they will attack him, and he'll take him out. One, two, three, no problem. Ha, <laughs> we're the heroes. It's all right. Oh. Listen.
my thanks. Shall we then? <laughs> 